windows for my lead. I don't yet know how to clean a window, but I can do about 90% of the job, so he doesn't have to do it. That's why you hire people of almost no skill level, teach them a few skills, and let them run ahead of you. I'm going to remove this screen. Again, there'll, there'll be a thorough screen removal video, but these are the main steps for removing a screen. This screen looks like it's been in there for a while. It's actually been, I don't even have screens on my windows, but I put this one back on. I'm just basically uh, brushing down the window. I'm going to take the screen out from the bottom. These are where the handles are, which means the springs are on the opposite side. Okay. I'm going to push where the springs are, and that's going to give me a little room to get my tool in the opposite area. But there might be a lip down here. So what you want to do is you want to find the spring, find the opposite side of the spring, opposite lower side. Then you want to go directly across the window to the opposite upper side and push up with your little screen extractor, not a screwdriver, not any other tool. Push up, push in, loosen the screen up, okay, push up and in. And that should lift the screen a couple millimeters off the ground. See that? Now it's going to be over that lower lip. I'm then going to press where the original spring was, press in, hold it with my thumb nice and easy, take my tool at the bottom, and lightly pull it out. The reason we use these is because they're curved up. If we miss, it's not going to damage the screen as much as a screw. A screwdriver will go right through the screen. This has a little lip where it kind of slides up, as well as helping us pull that screen out. Now that you have this bottom corner, you just want to wiggle that screen out. If it's not coming out, you don't want to grab the middles. You want to grab the bottom and just wiggle it back and forth until it comes out. If your technician says he wants you to wash the screens, you're going to wash them. If he says we're okay brushing them, then you're going to brush the screens. See the how to wash a screen video, okay? The second thing you're going to do is you're going to get all cobwebs out of the way, brush the window really quick. You don't want wet spiders falling down at you, okay? Maybe clean a little area like this if you have to. Just basically brush around the window so you're not getting cobwebs wet and they're like impossible to take off. Okay. And if you notice, if I'm on the interior, my squirt bottle is what I'm using most often so it'll be closer to my hip. On the exterior, the squirt bottle gives a nice handle for my brush, okay? The second thing I'm going to do to pre-wash this window is... I'll show you in a second. Okay, so I have my bucket fully set up, or my technician's bucket, the lead technician. Someone's bucket's fully set up. I'm going around the house cleaning screens, pre-washing the window perhaps or Get tons of water, okay? There could just be tons of water on the exterior of a house. It's totally fine. Unless you've already done the lower windows and now you've got to do the uppers for some odd reason, okay? Our services are limited to a basic wipe down of tracks and sills, okay? Interior, exterior screens, a basic wipe down of tracks and sills. So let's clean the sills, okay? So we could basically wipe them down. Everything needs to be cleaned from the frame in, okay? whole thing, I'm going to pre-soak the window, pre-wash it, whatever I got to do, put my mop away. I'm now going to get my steel wool out and my trash towel. So I'm going to do, if you've seen the five steps of window cleaning, which is the number one training video in the world, by the way, for window cleaning, I'm going to braille with two of my fingers and steel wool with my other two fingers. I'm going to make sure corner to corner, I'm going to feel the whole window. I don't feel any dots on there, okay? Big surprise, it's my window, okay? I'm going to feel this window, okay, there's a little dot there. Get it, get rid of it, corner to corner. That, if there's a dot that won't come off, that's when you grab your little wrist razor. Boom, 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 take it off, put it back on. Okay, now all the spots are off this window. I'm going to put my wet steel wool back in the front here. Keep your hands wiped down. And then that window is basically pre-washed. 
if it's in the sun, then you're, you're going to want to do your best to squeegee some water off of that so it doesn't bake in the sun. So it's pre-washed, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wipe down the sills and um, pre-rag the window, okay? So I'm going to wipe down the sills here. Wipe down all the sills. Okay, they're going to look a lot better this way. And I've pre-ragged the window. Then I'm just going to pull down, wipe off with this, pull down, wipe off, pull down, wipe off, pull down. And they're basically washed. The technician could come by and eventually, this is kind of your intro into squeegeeing. You might get to where you're pre-washing for them and you just washed the, all the windows perfectly. Maybe rag a little bit and maybe you're done. Who knows? This is your intro into squeegeeing. Anyone can pull down a squeegee two times, okay? So the last step will be... So I've pre-washed the window for the technician in front of me. Now he could go behind. He knows there's nothing on here. And all he's gonna do is like touch up the window and just squeegee behind and just do a little minimum ragging. It's gonna be very nice for the technician. And then you guys could blast through the whole house that way and then come back around and uh, clean screens. Okay?